So we're on the second floor and there's no holes drilled for any of the plumbing. Why is that? We're gonna speak about that here in this video. So we are standing here in the master suite at the Liberty Estate. And one thing that a lot of people have noticed, whether via camera, through social media, or even people that have toured the project already, is plumbing on the second floor. They're like, Brad, where's any holes to put the plumbing, right? Drains for the water closets, you know, in other words, the toilet, you know, sinks and vanities and shower system, which we have behind me, you'll see that nothing's here. Now, the reason is actually by design for that, you know, that's the purpose of that. And the reason being is what's unique about this structure, and this is the first time we've done this on a residential build. We actually have a client right now that's working through design with Tate Studios. Uh, an amazing architecture firm up in Cave Creek, and they're gonna do the same system we did on this home. Uh, you know, the reason being there's a lot of benefit to sound, white, the quality of construction and durability. You know, again, that sound transfer between first and second floor will be obsolete, especially with some sound bats in the ceiling below us. Um, but as you stand here, it's a very sturdy floor. Again, five inches of 4,000 PSI. I mean, this is something you see uh, at a commercial project or um, in a hotel, right, to help with sound um, code requirements. Now, with that being the case, it is much easier for a few reasons to run the entire B deck, have that port in place, and then have it installed in one monolithic pour. It adds to the quality of the build. Um, and also, as many of us know, what's really difficult is you're laying out plumbing, right? Things can be changed, right? Sometimes they snap the line wrong, they're pulling off maybe the inside edge instead of the outside edge, and that can change the alignment. And what we don't wanna do is sacrifice the quality and sound uh, in this build. And so for that reason, we are waiting to core. So what ends up happening is now, plumbers are, or our mechanical team is in, and they're installing all the duct work, right? Uh, you're gonna see that we have rigid duct, you know, as kind of the main skeleton of the build and it splinters off into each area. And now that the mechanical's in, our plumber's gonna be coming doing the plumbing layout. And as they come in and they lay dead center, because a lot of us know there's code requirements based on, you know, that toilet where it has to be off of the wall. So now as we center that and we lay it out in the field, um, as we're pulling all the lines, again, something that's really unique for us, you can see that every interior wall in this build we're using LSL studs. Um, some builders, which we always do in the wet areas, bathrooms, because of plumbing in the walls, we're using LSL, but this is the entire home. So that means every wall's um, perfectly straight throughout this build. And so now we can center all the plumbing as it should be. And as those are labeled, we bring a coring company in and they come in and they core and drill all of these holes to the exact dimension that we need. And now that these are in the exact location, they're the exact circumference, you know, drilled out, our plumber can come in. It allows us to really eliminate the gap of repairs. You know, having drill holes that are too wide or misplaced that we have to re-drill and do in-floor repairs of concrete. And again, that sound transfer, which any gaps, you know, helps with that sound and insulation. So we're gonna be coming out soon. You're gonna see this label. You're gonna have these core drilled. We'll have some content of what that looks like. Uh, it's a much easier process and it's gonna be very clean, crisp and high quality install now. Thanks for tuning in to our YouTube channel today. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, send us any questions you want us to address. And again, depending on the construction specifications, there is a sequence and coordination as to when uh, we do certain installs and when we're coordinating some of those trades. So stay tuned because again, this is a unique build as it applies to uh, construction with the B deck and concrete subfloor. So keep tuning in and we'll answer more of those questions for you.